Hi, I'm Tom from Cold Berlin. Um, we're at our booth out in the forest, the windy forest in Superbooth 2024. Uh, and today we're showing acoustic synthesis phase eight. Um, so it's a development on what we showed last year. It was more of a technology demonstration, um, but the same core concept. So the idea of acoustic synthesis um, being that we have these physical moving bodies, these metal resonators here, um, and we drive them with an electromagnet to make them move, like you would thumb a kalimba or hit a, um, have a hammer hit a piano string or a guitar pick on a string. Um, and then we have a pickup, so we get that sound. And in between that, you have all the electronics that allow you to control and contort that. So you have this um, kind of like huge expansion on, on what you can do with a physical moving body, but all of the nuance and expressiveness of that sound and the ability to interact with it. So um, if you replace the oscillator of a synthesizer with a physical moving body and then you have all of the synth bits and pieces around it, that's kind of what we're, what we're looking at here, more or less. Um, and in this prototype, we have um, eight different voices. Um, I've got like a natural minor scale in mind. We've built for five different versions, so they're all a little bit different aesthetically and different scales and stuff. Um, and uh, an eight step sequencer as well. Um, and some other fun things, a few different envelope modes, um, an LFO, tremolo depth and rate. Um, also a play mode, so you can play it as a normal keyboard instrument as well. And a record mode, so you can overdub stuff. Um, and mix and match between sort of having a sequence playing over the top of it, recording new pieces in, um, dynamically muting stuff, um, loading and saving patterns, all these sort of fun things. Um, also one of the modes is a sustain mode. So because we have a microprocessor in there that's doing all of the control stuff, we can see how the resonator is moving and we can decide to continue to excite it so we can sustain things infinitely, which you can't do with a usual uh, acoustic instrument. Um, unless you sort of employ some feedback and stuff, but it's usually kind of hard to control. Um, but on feedback, we also have the ability to kind of open up the VCA so you can let in these sort of sympathetic resonances between the voices, even if you're not playing one of the voices. And if you open it up even more than that, then you can get um, some feedback from like conductive mechanical feedback through a table or through the air, um, just like you would on an electric guitar. Um, and all that's sort of packed in here. We also have a shifter function, which kind of expands the, the rhythmic qualities of the, the sequencer by turning uh, one hit, which is in first gear. So you program one step, you hit it, you get one, one note playing um, to these double hits. So kind of almost like a double time feel um, and these notes in between um, the steps up to triplets. And it's really sort of fun to swing back and forth between those things. So you can kind of make the sequence a little bit more busy, a little bit more vibrant. Um, kind of change the intensity and feel the tempo and kind of go back and forth between those two things. Um, the three envelope modes are um, a hammer mode. So it's kind of like a typical hammer if you hit a piano string and you let it ring out. But because we have VCAs in there, we can adjust the time per voice. So how uh, much that resonates. So you can make it really sort of flacky and tight sounding or let it ring out naturally. Um, and then the second mode, we have uh, like a swell mode. So the time controls how quickly the note swells in and fades out, and we use the feedback, or not the feedback, sorry, the sustain that I mentioned before to elongate the, loads, the note. So if you're playing it and you're holding down a note, you can sustain it for as long as you like. It will swell in at the rate set by time, and then it will swell out once you release it. And then the, the last one, this little sort of bubbly cloud thing, splits the keyboard. So you have your um, swell mode on the left, like your left hand kind of for pads and stuff, and then hammer mode on the right for more uh, direct hits, percussive sounds, these sort of things. Um, and all of the resonators, like I said before, you can swap them out. So 
I've chosen this scale in mine. I put a fun sort of wild card shape in there too. Lucas has a bit more of a melodic uh, one in there and another funny shape that's also quite cool. Um, so you can mix and match, build whatever scales you like. You could have a scale of all C's, all A's if you wanted and make it into this crazy chorus machine. Um, you could do all sorts of things. And because they're physically moving bodies, you can interact with them. So if you're playing a sequence and you want to mute things, like today we have these sort of felt mutes, you can place them on top of the notes um, and they'll mute so you get different timbres and sounds. You can press your thumb up against it. Um, you can hit it with a hammer with the VCAs open and play it like you would a xylophone or anything like that. Um, sort of do some prepared piano things if you want to like stick this piece of wood like in between the tongs here and see, uh, in between the arms here and see how that changes the sound. It's uh, totally open um, because it is this physical moving body so you won't get the same sound every time.